As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hey y'all, we are out on a private pick. I got a call from a friend that says, hey, I got a, f they had a friend that had a bunch of hats that they wanted to see had any value or not. And so she got the hats, gave me a call and I came over and we're gonna take a look at the hats in the back of the truck here and see if there's anything worth reselling. Maybe make an offer. I don't like to do consignment. It's a possibility here. Maybe just pick the best hats out of there and give them a price for it and see what happens. But let's see what they have first. All right, so just off the bat, looking at these, um, when she opened the car a minute ago, um, the obviously this hat stands out right now. I don't have the exact value on this one. My guess is it's probably a $25 hat. Um, I've never sold one of these, and you see you find these every once in a while. So I think uh, my Uncle Mark has sold one. So uh, these definitely 1984 Olympics. I was. Uh, a young kid out in California when that was going on in Los Angeles and it looks to be in pretty good shape the foam's in good shape so that's definitely a hat that's got some value um, just going through we'll see I don't know how I should divide these up but um, you know these hats are probably not much resale value at least on eBay maybe a few of them if Goodrich that might have a little bit of value that's probably not much, not much. Lowe's, so some cool. And that might have a little bit, possibly local value. Still, that one's probably got a little value. John Force, maybe. Franklin Auto Repair. So there's nothing standing out here too huge as I'm looking through these. Jags, that's probably a decent hat. A few more trucker hats down here. Oh, here we go. This might be now. Nope. Let me down there. Commercial steel, that's an interesting hat. And parts. So advanced out of parts, that definitely has got a little value to it. Cherry tree. That masonry. Lynchburg lemonade. Hmm. That one's got a little value. Kansas City Royals old hat. That one's got some value too. There we go. Chevrolet. That's a good one. Don't know what that is. Take a look. There. Denim. That's no good. Link. Pennzoil. Not a bad hat. Snap on. Those are good. Heavy cruise. A minor league hat of some sort. Tidewater? Tides, maybe? That doesn't seem right. Nashville Music City, Trucker Hat. So there's some good ones in here. Valvoline, some NASCAR. There's a Vintage 90 Snap on. That should be good. So, all right. Well, I am going to continue to dig through this box and see if we find anything interesting. Don't see any Holy Grails just yet. And uh, if we do, I'll let you know what we find. All right, see you in a little bit. Hello, everybody. So we are on our way to a private pick, and little homeschool hustlers here with me. Say hi, Reagan. Hi. Um, we are picking her up from gymnastics, and we are going to head over. Um, I already did a private pick and have bought some some things from from a friend of mine who had a friend that asked uh, um, if if we were interested in any of these hats. So. Um, I'm going to go pay that lady today and I'm going to look at a few more things that she said I might be interested in and I'm not comfortable going in this particular place with a, with a, uh, with, my, with my phone to film but uh, we'll show you what we got and thanks for joining us.
All right, y'all, so we've already made a deal for $120 for all the hats that we have at home that we're going to show you later. Um, Reagan's doing a good job videotaping this for us. Can you see that one? This probably would be a good hat. It's got some fading, and it's not in great shape. Um, got some local hats that I think will do really well in the booths for just a couple of bucks a piece. Um, I think they'll sell fairly quickly. Um, this is an old vintage J. Crew hat, wool J. Crew hat. An old Walmart hat, uh, some Mac tools, and a GTX. This is an old, uh, the foam's coming out of it, but a Morton Salt hat's not worth too much. And then the Tommy Hilfiger um, golf hat, I think probably has a little value. This is made in Bangladesh, not terribly old, but I think it's probably a $20 hat. And then the Carhartt hat, which I might keep. So. Um, we paid $15 for this, but that was really just an add-on. It's not a great buy here, but the ones at home are going to do much, much better. And this lady here was super nice, and we wanted to make her a fair offer on it. So, all right, we'll see you at home. All right, so we just hit an accidental yard sale on the way home, and we bought some stuff, and it's in the back. So we'll have to show you when we get home. But we'll show you this nice little yard sale over here. And we did pretty darn good, I think. No massive home runs, but a lot of good stuff, don't you think? Yeah. What was your favorite thing in there? What did you like that we bought? Uh, the little doggy frame. The little doggy frame. You like that? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll show you what we got when we got home, and then we're going to go through those hats and show you that private pick and how much we think we're going to make on it. All right, so we got a pretty good bundle deal here. This guy right here um, was the thing that initially attracted me to the yard sale because I thought hey that looks like a CD stand and that's exactly what it is so um, I can put cassette tapes in there CDs things like that in my eBay room I don't think we'll put this in the booth because it's got a door and you can't tell sell too many CD things when you can't can't see them so um, I think it'll go in the eBay room I got a perfect place for it to store small and all of this by the way 20 bucks so you got to tell me how you think I did I bought this tree I doubt, com I, I doubt Blue Ridge Mama let me put this funky looking tree in the booth um, to display ornaments. But the kicker was I got the tree and all the ornaments. Little, teen, little tiny miniature ornaments on there. Got some that I think are kind of neat. They're, they're all pretty cheap. There's nothing special um, to them. But there are some that are glass. Um, and so I think we'll be able to resell them. Even if you get a quarter or 50 cents a piece. If you got the whole tree for two bucks with all the ornaments and they threw in these ornaments as well and these are all glass and so we'll make uh, some pretty decent money in the booth i think on the ornaments even though they're not vintage because they are glass uh, this guy right here is brand new in the box this little card holder wooden card holder brand new in the box we'll display some of the cards we got uh, and sell the cards out of that box maybe put a tag on it too for like four or five bucks and if it sells great, if not, we'll just use it to sell the cards. Um, I picked up this. I have no idea if it's got any value, but anytime you find anything old in the package, I thought maybe it's worth it. Um, uh, it does have corrosion on the battery, see right there. But it is brand new in the package, so maybe it's got some value. We'll have to look it up. 28 millimeter, right there. All right, I uh, got a reference Bible in the box still, King James. I have some decent value, nothing incredible. John Deere hat. Uh, these are really what sold me on the deal, and I haven't looked them up, but this has got to be worth some money. Uh, Harley Davidson, 1993. Some custom chrome. That's a nice big magazine there. So I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. These motorcycle parts. So I think these all have fairly decent value. What's up? She, you you checking out the finds? I, I did check it out. It. And yeah. that's the one she's had it for like last weekend, yeah. this weekend. I think trying to get rid of stuff. Yeah, we got some good deals, baby. Some uh, bookends. Yeah, Take I a look. I do, but I want to see. Hold on a minute. Hold on. I want you to look at this stuff. Tell me how I did. These are Fontanini, which I've sold before. Um, and they should definitely still sell. Even, even, in the, or even on eBay, not necessarily in the booth. And this is a local pottery place here. It's Emerson Creek, so that should sell in the booth, don't you think, for a little bit? All this stuff I've never here. Seen one with a they usually are. That's a bobbin. I guess that's a bobbin, huh? 
and a little candle basket right there, which I gotta get straightened out. And a little ornament for a dog, another Fontanini. So I think we did really, really well. I, haven't, I don't even know what this one's worth. So um, I think uh, one of these right here will probably pay for the whole lot. Let's go check out what she has from Goodwill. All right, so here's the Goodwill thrifting stop that uh, Blue Ridge Mama accidentally, accidentally went, on. went on. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you, you didn't mean to. <laughs> you just accidentally pulled into the Goodwill. I did. All right, what's, what have we got uh, here? Creative memory oh, since wow. we were into that uh -huh. um, album that does have the pages already. Nice. Looks like it's brand new without the plastic. It does. Some denim there. Brand new tech hat, hokey hat. Oh, so, either yeah. online or in the booth. Yeah, thought maybe the booth, but whatever. Yeah, booth is good. Um, oh, a gumball bank, oh. die cast. Pretty cool. And I thought I saw the actual price on there somewhere. Well, that's good anyway, for sure. Anyway, has some gumball, so that'd be cute in the toy. Toy, toy, toy uh, rack. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be definitely so. I don't know about these How much days. was it? How much was that? Two ninety nine. Yeah. I think we get at least seven, eight dollars at least. Yeah, I thought I saw a fourteen ninety nine like actual price tag, but it must be something else. I don't know about these. I thought they were cute for ninety nine cents. Candle stoppers. Brand new in the package. They're different little ones that you put on top of jarred candles. Ah. But this oh, one's yeah, a little yeah. lemonade stand. And one is a campfire so someone that enjoys camping out i just thought they were cute for 99 cents i'm like i can put five yeah. bucks on them i'm sure yeah, I have to check out one is eBay a first, but, uh, yeah i i definitely. did not have my phone with me this morning so <laughs> um one is a christmas little one but it has a little tiny snow globe anyway all 99 cents i like it i don't know about this i just thought it was cute Dreaming of pretty little things. A Pier 1 trinket tray, which is still basically, yeah. you know, in a package. It's cute. I think it will sell. Oh, You're right. gonna Are get you mad kidding at me? me? Oh, look at that yeah. thing. Why Rudolph? would I get mad at you? No, not at this one. Oh, this so is that's Rudolph. awesome. I, I did pay a dollar ninety nine, but oh, the lady sell. was talking, and I'm pretty sure she rang me up for ninety nine cents. Cause she's like, Give me some, give me some. and it did have all the little. Oh yeah. It has everything in here, but how cute! <laughs> I yeah. love it. I've never seen that before. I so know, so I'm Monopoly like, that's game. really cute. So don't get mad. It is oh, a Halloween costume. Yeah, Halloween costume. But it has all the pieces. It's you know, unicorn, um, My Little Pony stuff. So that stuff's still popular. This will sell. Perfect. Holy moly, look at that. <laughs> the Incredible 2 gloves. Oh my goodness. Well, that's 10 bucks, so. Well, I know a certain little it's kid that so. I did really good. Like, all of this stuff was like 30. $20, $28, I think. So, this is stuff I got for our homeschool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just to have. There's tons of, you know, if I need to give them just a worksheet or something to work on separately. This one was cute. You can flip and make the different words and wow. it also has a dry array so you can you know ask them to spell it out themselves another word ladder book this is all not to be sold but they had tons of that is awesome social studies and i know this is like grades two to three so it's really a little bit older for turner and a little bit younger for reagan but hey turner can get ahead and reagan can review I don't know about this. I didn't even look it up. It's 99 cents. It's a VTEC. I thought if it did work and had the batteries, our kids might like this as well. Little games. But it's old. 1991. <laughs> so I just threw it in there for 99 cents. And a Bed Bath & Beyond Best <laughs> Dog Ever frame. For Sophie, of course. <laughs> or the booth. We won't tell her. And... Last but not least. Last but not least. Oh, wow. I just thought they were cute little vintage bluebird salt and pepper shakers. Anyway. I like it. All right. Yeah, so everything was $28. Nice. I did nice. round up. 
All right, now your vacation. There's no more money to spend on vacation. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Until I go <laughs> thrifting on vacation. All right. All right, hey, we're in the eBay cave finally. We're going to take a look at these hats and show you what we got and how much we paid. And you let me know if you think it's worth it. All right, so I've, I've just... Uh, this was the first batch over here, and then the second batch is right here. Um, the entire cost was $135. I could have had them much cheaper, um, but I was uh, doing this as a private pick for a friend, um, and I didn't really want to take advantage of the situation, and so I overpaid what I would normally do um, in a different situation. Um, nonetheless, I'm still going to make some money here, and if I make a whole ton of money on it, which I don't think I will. I definitely will make a bunch of money on it, but I may end up going back and uh, and uh, giving them a little bit more money if, if, if it turns out that some of these hats are a little better than I thought. But initially, I've looked up a few uh, that I thought were the best, and, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we'll make our money on a few hats, and then the rest will be put to the side, and we'll do little by little probably. Um, and some are going to go in the booth. Like, uh, for instance, got some local hats here. I think we'll put uh, this hat and this hat, these two in the booth for a couple of bucks. They're, they're local Lynchburg Crane. They're in really good. They look like they've never been used. And so we'll put those over here for now. Actually, you know what? I think we'll put the local hats right here. Um, Ivy Crew is not a very um, good name, but it's a neat little hat. It might go for $10 online. Not sure. It might not go for anything. Uh, this one, I've seen this before. I don't think I've sold it before. I probably passed it up. It's probably a $10 to $15 hat. It is kind of neat. Retro, like uh, late 80s, maybe early 90s. So this will go in the reseller, I think. Um, don't know about this hat. We'll have to look this one up. A little bit later it is made in the USA um, hat so it should bring some money but if you're out there and you know what that emblem is let me know uh, obviously this is a good one we'll definitely resell that one it's $25 hat is my guess I haven't sold one in a long time this is a Pro Series Timberland it's probably got some resale value it looks like it's never been worn uh, Buckmasters I've sold this hat before if I remember it's probably a $15 hat maybe $20 hat Maybe a little bit more um, for the Buckmaster vintage hat. Definitely a reseller. Flowmaster should probably sell. It's probably a pretty low hat. You know, maybe ten to twelve dollars. Um, I'm gonna put it over here for now. Here is the holy grail of this hat. And if I know my stuff right here, because um, these vary a little bit. There's some that go for forty, and some that are listed for four hundred this one is the real deal and there's a few things you can tell but one way for sure is looking right here and it says louisville on it um louisville manufacturing company so this is probably going to be the one that pays for everything and already puts in profit and the rest is going to just be uh um, profit after that so this one is the is the major one uh i don't know exactly what all listed for it may be a 2.99 or best offer deal um it may not be so we'll have to find out about that one do a little bit more research on that this is also another really good hat it's probably a 40 dollars hat don't know anything about that i don't even know what that says jack fant tant maybe you can tell me uh it's i've never sold that one believe it or not it's probably a 10 to 20 dollars hat snap-ons are good i'll probably lot them up um there's a few of them in here actually this hat didn't come in that group bought it the other day at a yard sale these are structure hats i have to do some research there's a few of them in there here's a tommy hilfiger um ppg that's probably a reseller lynchburg lemonade that's definitely a reseller cat hmm here we go that might be a good hat i didn't even see that the first time around at least i don't remember it snap-on's good Put it up there. Here's another snap-on. Looks like we'll have a snap-on lot. Cat racing probably should be good. I'll put it in there. Take a look at it later. Granger should be good. I'll look at it later. Snap-on again. Definitely looking like a lot there. That one should probably sell, but I'm going to put it in the low-ranking one. Jegs High Performance. That'll sell. I'll put it over here, too. Jesse Jones Hot Dog Sausage and Bologna. I have no idea, but it's a cool-looking uh, 90s hat. It'll sell. 
Michelin tire, Lynchburg tire, so that's a local. We'll definitely put that in the booth. Haynes 500 will sell, but not for much. Here's another one of those. Oh, put it over here. Lynchburg Harley Davidson. I think that would be a really good hat, but it's got a stain. We'll put it over here in the local one. Pepsi Cola. When I initially saw this one, I thought cha-ching, and then I realized it's not a patch, it's not old, and it's probably made in China. So, um, but it'll sell. Valvoline, that'll sell. I think this was in the other one. Toledo Mud Hens, I believe. I thought initially I said Tidewater Tides, and when the video was over, I'm like, that is definitely not Tidewater Tides. This one will sell. I've sold that before, not for a lot. That's a local hat that'll sell. Uh, that's a cool looking snap on hat. I don't know about that one. That one should sell. If not, it'll sell in the booth. <laughs> that's funny. That should sell. That's funny. And still, it'll sell a little bit. Good wrench. Crackle Barrel 500. I've sold that one before. Not for a whole lot of money. Another good wrench. There's a few lots we'll do here. High Country Moist Snuff. Hmm. That'll sell. Never seen it, but it'll sell. That tobacco hats usually sell. Miller Genuine Draft. That'll sell. Rustburg Tasty Freeze. That's a local hat for sure. And National Rifle Association. The phone looks like it's going bad in those. Um, those don't sell for as much as you'd think, but they do sell. And there was a Tommy hat. There's a couple more hats. This is a vintage KC hat. Not a lot of sellers on that. I looked this one up, and there's some out there for about $70 to $40, but none have sold. My guess is it's a $25, $30 hat. It's also got some condition issues. Uh, Carhartt, I might keep that for myself. An old Walmart hat. It's got to be worth $15 to $20, bucks, I would think. And there is a Tommy hat here somewhere that's probably a $15 to $30 hat. Tommy Golf. I've checked that one out. All right, so if there's something in here you've seen and you've sold before, let me know what you think of my analysis of these, and I'm happy to uh, to listen and uh, and learn from some of y'all. I've sold hats for a long time, but uh, some of these are new to me. So, anyways, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe below. Have a good.